I'm Neil Spizak. I'm the production designer. A production designer is the person who works with the director and the director of photography and the producers and the visual effects team to conceptualize and make all of the ideas that everybody has in theory become actually materialized. It's great to work with Sam because he's always very clear about what the story is and who the characters are that are within the story. And he's always very receptive to hearing what you might have to say and, and um, what might help him get to where he's going. Sam is a Spidey fan from way, way back. And um, his interest was extremely infectious. And it, it was sort of a bizarre road getting introduced to Spider-Man, actually. I mean, I knew Spider-Man from the t TV series and from cartoons, but I had never really read comic books. And it was an interesting journey learning about, you know, who Spider-Man is and how he's portrayed in the comic books. Once you, once you conceptualize what the film is about and how the film needs to look and what locations scenes actually take place in, then the execution process um, is a puzzle that you kind of work out piece by piece. How do you retain the control that a filmmaker needs to tell a story? Well, obviously the best place is on a soundstage. Um, but the reality is that you can't just go into New York City and shoot anywhere you want to. So a lot of times, you know, you bring it back and you make it work because it's the only way you can retain control and get the shots you want to tell the story. One of the design elements that I tried to uh, incorporate into the film as a whole is um, a slightly overscaled and somewhat classical architecture. Building tops and um, places that you normally aren't on buildings, closer to the upper architecture of the buildings of New York. So the idea that this balcony is further up in the building rather than being down in the street and the idea, idea that you have an overview um, made it all the easier to incorporate the goblin on its glider above the city and the fact that Spidey could swing in from the upper parts of the city as opposed to being in on the street. Although it's an action film and an adventure film and a fantasy film. All of those parts of this movie work because the basis for the whole story is very human. And I think it makes it all the more interesting and all the better that, that you believe, you know, you know Spider-Man can be, can be a part of our world. Welcome to Oscorp Industries Unity Day Festival. Let's hear it for May 